are going to change the way that you live online. Man, it's raining. I'm loving it, baby. Yeah! Hey, guys. Welcome. I'm Jake Press. I'm the host of the Think Big segment, but here I'm with it, with Mr. Jim Stroud here for ILiveOnline.net. And here, the whole purpose of, of us coming to one of the largest uh, consumer electronic company retailers in the world, um, Circuit City, here I'm at Circuit City, and we're going to find out products that can help better the online experience. So come check it out. Let's, let's see what we can find here. We'll see if we got some... Uh... Um, here it says, for the new iPod Nano, making a difference with your iPod. Uh, let's, let's see. Would I, would I like this? Uh, let's see. It's, price goes for a $250. It's a nice secure package. Um, making a difference with your iPod. Here it says it's the Susan G. Komen for the Cure which is buy an iPod today, buy an iPod band today, and support breast cancer research for tomorrow. Hey guys, now if you're like me, you're in the airport in and out all the time, and you're lugging these uh, heavy laptops or heavy suitcases, after a while, my back started telling me I need to find an alternative. Well, here's an alternative for you, and for me, if you're tired of carrying laptops <laughs> through the airport and running and everything. These are uh, flash drive USBs, and this is what I do. I um, Take one of these things, and there are different models here. Um, what I do is, this is a uh, four gigabyte uh, flash drive. So what I would do is, I would insert this into the USB port on my laptop, and um, just sort of drag and drop my files to this little drive. And then um, I carry this around instead of my laptop. Much easier on my back. And when I get to my destination, um, usually in a hotel there's like a, a, an office center or a business center where you can use their computers, you know. I just take this to that office center in the hotel, plug it into their USB drive, and now I have everything that's on my laptop on here. I can just work on it at the uh, hotel. Much easier on my back, very convenient. This is living online, baby. All right, so we're trying to improve the online experience, and one way we're going to improve the online experience is by finding a webcam. So maybe you might be saying, what's the best webcam? How do I, how do I even use a webcam, and are they expensive? How do, where do I start? Well, here I found this Logitech, and up to four times better video. It's small, it's compact, it looks easy to use. And uh, let's just take a look, you know, look about this uh, webcam here. Um, I could, it looks like you can see more in HD, the end of dark images. Its price point is $129.99, a little more expensive than other webcams. But from what I understand, it's the best. I heard about this, this technology called Slingbox. Mm -hmm. You plug something up to your computer, yes. and then something to your TV, and you can watch what's on your TV on your computer. Mm -hmm. you, ha you guys have that here? Yes, we do. Have can it. you show me what it looks yes. like? Slingbox is actually back here. I'm a, I'm a big Lost fan. Mm -hmm. Love Lost. Lost Rules. <laughs> lost Rules! <laughs> All right, so if I have this connected to, um, to my TV, mm -hmm. I could watch Lost on my laptop, yes, for and then record my episodes and, and keep them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good that's good there are certain shows on TV that I just want to keep now can I transfer this I'm on the go a lot mm -hmm. and let's say I have um, my trusty T-Mobile dash here okay. and I wanted to T watch TV on it yes. uh, can I do that as well yes you can also transfer it to mm -hmm. any Blackberry phone that you have really mm -hmm. okay I see it here on the thing so I hook this up to my TV mm -hmm. watch it on my laptop yes. watch it on my phone that is sweet Sling box. <laughs> That's living online, baby. Hey guys, I'm Jake Press. Welcome back to Think Big. I want to teach you how to make a Think Big phone call. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to make a phone call. Where does it start? Well, it starts with one thing. You have to have a phone and you have to know how to talk. All right, so once we've gotten those two things together, now let's talk about how do we find the Donald Trumps of the world. How do we find those big business people or how do we find oh, the celebrity contacts? I, I can't get a hold of those people. They're unreachable. Let me tell you guys, anybody is reachable. It requires a couple of things. Number one, your ability to know how to use the internet. Let's talk about how to find these people through Google. Okay. One way, if I'm looking for a business and I don't know how to contact that person, well, I'm going to make that phone call to say initially and I'm going to get an operator. The operator is going to tell me, I'm sorry, sir, you don't have a name, I can't put you through. Let me just put you through to a regular line. Well, that line's just gonna be an automated voicemail that's gonna tell me to send any unsolicited proposals for business or what have you directly to a certain address or a certain email address. Well, I got some better news for you guys. You can go Google, type in Director of Marketing, plus 
the company's name and you'll start pulling up press releases. The press releases will start telling you names of people that work in the company. Now you can call back and say, don't say a last name, say a first name. Yeah, is Bob it? Bob who? Oh, Bob Jones, of course, right? Oh, then they think you know Bob, so they're gonna go ahead and transfer you into Bob Jones. Sally's gonna answer the phone and say, Bob Jones's office, hey Sally, how are you? Because she's gonna say, hey, this is Sally from Bob Jones's office. Hey Sally, how are you? Is Bob in? No, I'm sorry, sir, he's actually in a meeting right now. Okay, great, what would be the best time for me to call him back? That's called building relationships and understanding how to nurture those relationships to get what it is that you want out of a business and make them feel important, which is very, very important. So now when I call back and say, okay, so if Sally doesn't say her name, if she just says Bob Jones's office, I'm gonna say, hey Sally, how are you? She's not gonna know how I know her name, but I've took, taken the time to remember her name written it down, and then I'm gonna know that she's the gateway to getting to Bob, who I need to get to, so I can do my business. That's just a little tip and trick from Jake Press, the host of Think Big. You guys take care. Oh yeah, one thing. Let's just go ahead and why don't we just show you how to do it. Jim, why don't you take them through the Google search and show them how to do pluses and finding those, finding those bits of information within press releases so they can get the context that they need, so they can make the phone calls that they need to make. Sure thing, Jake. All right. Okay, to find a director of marketing um, for a particular company, say whether it's a director of marketing for Cisco or IBM or Oracle, uh, this is how I would go about it. I would type in the word says, um, then I would type in uh, the asterisk symbol, which is uh, just above the number eight on your keyboard. Uh, then I'll put in quotes, director of marketing, or any type of job title that I'm looking for. Uh, also, I will put in, in parentheses, Cisco or IBM or Oracle, because in this example, I'm looking for a director of marketing uh, either in either of these companies, Cisco, IBM, or Oracle. And let's do a Google search, and you see what comes back are quotes from different news articles, uh, websites, or press releases that mention uh, the names of the director of marketing for different uh, business groups inside of these companies. Uh, for example, here we have uh, blah 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 says David Plano, Director of Marketing for Oracle Business Intelligence Applications. We have here where there's another quote uh, from a uh, Greg Kreider who is the Senior Director of Marketing for Oracle Fusion Middleware. Down here we have another quote from someone uh, Chris Sinton who's Director of Marketing for Cisco Connection Online. Uh, here's another one for uh, uh, Suraj Shetty, who's the Director of Marketing for Cisco Service Provider Groups. And uh, this goes on and on and on. Also, pretty much they do a data migration. What a data migration is, pretty safe if you have a older version of the XP computer and you want to buy a Vista computer. Pretty much you can transfer all your files from your XP to your Vista computer. That's one of the things we do. Um, also, we also give a Vista training in the store. Also, fire dog training, I mean, uh, iPod training, uh, camera training, also, and TV training. I said iPod training? Mm -hmm. Wow, so if I had, like, no clue mm -hmm. as to, beyond, I just want a computer in my home. Okay. I just say, hey, guys, I want I want all this stuff, and I want to know how to do the iPod, I want to mm -hmm. do the music, I want to do TV. Mm -hmm. Just make it go. Yes. And you guys would just make it we'll go. Yeah, just come out there and do everything for your setup. Wow, is that expensive? It, no, not actually. No, it's not. Okay. Actually, uh, Best Buy charges more than us. Uh, really? Yes. That is a known fact. That's interesting. <laughs> hmm.